What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I have to tell you that it's been two years that I create content on YouTube. So it's my second birthday here on my YouTube channel and that's amazing. That was like an incredible journey and I want to talk about a little bit of what I learned and what's happening right now, what are the things that I want to focus on in the future and all the things that changed. Uh, that's incredible, but I just want to make a quick video. So let's start. So first of all, I just bought this new camera. So it's the Sony a6400. I had for my entire period of creating content online, just my phone. So uh, since I started two years ago, I've always used my phone to record videos. Then I started upgrading with a microphone here. Uh, then a lavalier microphone, other things. I bought an Osmo Pocket. I bought some things to create content and then this light ring. Uh, but in the end, I decided this second year, you know what? I'm starting to first, for the first time, making money and contracts with brands. Cause yeah, after just two years, not just, but <laughs> after two years of creating content with not so many views, not so many people interested on YouTube, but also on many other different platforms. I was like, damn, it's hard. Should I quit? Should I quit? Should I quit? I don't know. Nobody's interested. I don't know what to create content about. I don't know if people, if I'm interesting. I don't know if I'm wasting my time. I decided, you know what, let's keep going. Maybe let's just doing it as a part-time thing, as a part-time hobby. But after two years, I finally started getting slowly, slowly, slowly my first payments. Yes, of course, from YouTube. But here in Italy, the YouTube Google ad payment is very, very, very low. So brands and contracts that you make with brands are the one, the one thing that actually make you more money. So I started creating content for these brands. And right now, finally, I have some contracts that can actually allow me to stay at home and work from home. So work just on my YouTube channel and on the content that I post. I have a lot of projects for the future, for fragrances and everything. So it's been incredible. Uh, two years, I created so much content. I started like putting out content like crazy. I think I was posting four, five, six videos per week in the beginning because uh, I was creating three videos in English and three videos in Italian. So the, the main video same video for two languages. Right now I create two videos in one language and one video in one language, so three videos per week. And it really depends on uh, what's the message inside the content. So for example, like this, I normally as a uh, YouTuber, I create content in English primarily. And then I have my personal national language, which is Italian, in which I create content uh, for specific topics that are related to my country. So it really depends on the message and on the things that I spread. But if you watch my first YouTube video, and now I'll show you. What's up guys? This is Marco. This is my first YouTube video, I guess. And I wanna a little bit introduce myself before I start my YouTube journey. So. Damn, I changed so much. Uh, it's not just the equipment that I use. Of course, I was using my camera and I was using my iPhone and on the front camera, which was also very bad for uh, the quality. Right now I'm using like a 4K camera and a Rode mic, which is it's expensive. And I bought a new light that is coming here for the studio. So to have a better lighting, because this lighting from the window is not like the best in the world. Uh, so, Yes, a lot of things changed, but not just the equipment, myself changed a lot. Uh, I learned English so much thanks to uh, YouTube, because you know, you have to practice a lot of English if you want to learn. And yes, I keep reading a lot of content in English, I keep reading a lot of books, I, be I keep going on with my routine. But one thing that I started creating content in English for was to practice my English even verbally and to practice in front of a camera. So right now, I'm much, much better than my first videos. Uh, in front of a camera. So I wanted to improve also my quality of speaking, my quality of not keep stopping myself from talking and being able to create a sentence, to create a little bit of an argument, a rant without interrupting myself continuously and just in front of the camera. So 
in the beginning was hard, now it's uh, amazing. So a couple of things that I never said on my YouTube channel about my channel is first, I have no idea why in the beginning I was without the shirt. So I was shirtless. <laughs> I have no idea. Keep, people keep asking me, Marco, why, why do you, why, why are your first videos were shirtless? I have no idea, guys. I just took out of the shirt because first, yeah, maybe because first of all, I thought that my YouTube channel was about fitness, fitness and healthy lifestyle. So I was like, maybe uh, that's what fitness influencers do. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, that was mainly the reason and i started making content about fitness and health workouts healthy lifestyle in the beginning then i started shifting more on what i enjoy so i started making content about also uh, beauty care fragrances the fragrance videos are always the ones that actually make me more views and then after a while i started you know what i uh, i also improved myself a lot during this journey and i have new goals i want to become a successful person i want to become a successful actor singer uh, personal brand which can influence people go talk about environment politics public speak uh, make money teach other people how to make money influence others as cheesy as it sounds but i want to actually help other people and help uh, the world i have this philanthropical <laughs> philanthropy inside my head since i was a kid so uh, youtube is actually a very good thing to start then i started documenting my journey so i started documenting my journey through modeling because i was a model and through the things that i did my mr war competition and everything and from the mr war competition what happened is that i noticed that Philippines, because it was in the Philippines, Philippines people, Filipinos, told me, try to react to some of our videos. And then my channel exploded to almost 15,000 followers, subscribers. Uh, and then I removed all the Filipino videos <laughs> just because I didn't, I didn't want to be my channel just all around that, just all around reactions. So this is the story of my YouTube channel. So it has a really big explosions once I started making content about one thing that I didn't like. And now that I'm creating content about something that I'm actually good at. So my journey, success, um, how to improve myself. So whatever I post is something that I actually do for myself to reach the level of success I want. So I could talk about beauty care fragrances, uh, I could talk about uh, attractiveness, I could talk about hair, I could talk about books, I could talk about economy, personal growth, self-care, education, uh, all the things necessary to reach that level of success. Uh, so that's it. <laughs> this is the story of my channel. Uh, why English instead of Italian? I no, I have no idea. I posted a lot of videos talking about whether I preferred creating content in English instead of Italian. First of all, because I wanted to keep improving my English. Second, because it's the main language in the world and a lot of YouTubers talk about it. Third, because I've always consumed since I was a child English content. So why do not creating content for the community I've always followed instead of a community that I don't follow? I don't know any YouTuber here in Italy, just uh, like the most famous ones, but I don't even watch their videos. Uh, so I think it's for that and I have a lot of connections internationally. So creating content for people that I know personally, that I met personally in my life is supposed to be in English. So this is what's happening. I have a lot of uh, projects for the future, two years and I have almost 20,000 subscribers. So I'm grateful for that. Actually, one little secret. This is not my first YouTube channel. I had a <laughs> very embarrassing YouTube channel with my, um, with my best friend, Andrea here in Italy and it was in Italian and it was about Minecraft. We created a, <laughs> a stupid uh, YouTube channel called Mindsturbation because it was just around Minecraft. Uh, we had a, a lot of great time, but we were younger. We stopped after 20 videos and we got like 20 subscribers, 14 subscribers. Uh, but I think honestly that if we kept going without interrupting ourselves, I think, is it right in rec? Yes, I hope so. <laughs> if we kept going, like, uh, I think that right now we would be like with millions of followers. So, cause we are also actually funny and we had a lot of fun. 
we're not funny, <laughs> but we had a lot of fun. So that's it, guys. Second year, second year of, I don't know, because uh, yes, I think that no matter how my life will be, no matter how successful will be, no matter how much money will I make in the future, no matter how famous will I be, and no matter which platform I will create content on, but I honestly think that with the creation of internet and my generation, I have, I'm 23 years old, I think that creating content and videos and photos and everything is necessary. So it's something that I will keep creating and posting for uh, until until I can, until I have the force to do, or actually until I enjoy making it, or and until I have at least one comment of someone that is happy because I'm helping him with his life or with something in his life. So until uh, all of these things are existing, I will just keep creating content. So this is the second year. Uh, I'm also in this period making a tabula rasa, so I have a lot of ideas in my mind and I kept growing, 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 growing for three years. And so I kept putting on all the other things, one to the other, one to the other, a lot of ideas, a lot of things on my calendars, on my routines, on my social media. I created the blog, the podcast, the YouTube channel, the blog, like so many things, but I actually, it was a mess. So in this period, I'm actually with 2020, as I did with my room, I'm polishing and cleaning everything from start, from scratch, to rebuild my brand, to rebuild my purpose, my target audience, uh, what I want to do in, with my life, uh, my goals, even simply my blog, uh, recreating my blog, uh, uh, polish it and adapting it with all my other contents, creating a marcodelia.com webpage instead of leonfire.com, which is my blog blog will keep being there but I will create also a marcodelia.com and also my Instagram accounts and all the other platforms in which I create content on I have to do less things this is what I learned during the years less things but more quality I've always posted more and more and more reducing quality right now I want to just keep going on quality and maybe produce more produce less but with more quality try to think a little bit more about what i'm creating content about and learning about videography and photography as i'm learning right now how to make photos and to take photos and videos better uh, that's why i bought the drone i bought the camera the mic the lights uh, so one thing that i learned is quality is very important not just quantity focus on just the platforms that are working because it's a mistake that I keep making it right now. I keep creating content on more platforms that I need. Uh, try to keep being consistent because I kept being consistent. Uh, like take YouTube as a hobby, take YouTube as something that you like to do. If you have something to talk about, just put it out there in the world and people will listen to it. If people don't listen to it, adapt, read the comments, read the feedbacks of people, and adapt of what people ask for you or what you enjoy making. Test and see what works and post more about that, even for TikTok, even for Instagram, for everything. So just, I need to do less things, even in my routine, because my personal growth routine is crazy, guys. It takes basically the whole day to make that, to, make, to, to finish that every day. Yoga, meditation, uh, workout, etc. So I think I will just have to focus on less things, more quality, repurpose everything so have a clear ideas on what my target audience is uh, what to create content about read the comments and post on what is working and this is what i learned keep it consistent don't look at numbers if nobody's watching you right now is because you are not good enough so you need to just practice more and as soon as you get more character as soon as you improve yourself because making youtube videos actually improve yourself as a person and once you uh, keep improving yourself, then you worth more and people will listen to you. If you have something good to talk about, the character is good. So you have, uh, you, you can influence people. Your communication is good and you have something like a great story to tell, then why people shouldn't follow you. So that's it, guys. 
this is my two years of YouTube. A lot of projects are coming. I'm finally starting to make some money from YouTube. And I'm also making this tabula rasa, so recreating everything from zero, reorganizing everything. So 2020 has been an incredible year for me. So thanks for being here if you watched till the end. And thanks for being here with two years if you watched like from the first video. See you guys in the next videos and for the next years. So bye. And yes, guys, another thing that I didn't mention is that I just came back from seven days of vacation. So I was on holiday in southern Italy for a vacation. So for the first time, uh, I visited southern Italy because I never visited southern Italy because every time that I spent some money traveling, I always said, you know what, let's go and uh visit foreign countries because if i have to invest some money in traveling let's just go in foreign countries and visit new capital cities i want to visit all the capital cities and seven wonders of the world uh but this time because of the quarantine or of this period i decided you know what let's exploit this beautiful country i live in italy i never visited southern italy so i decided you know what let's just go this is the first time so that was amazing i took seven days of break so sorry because last uh, week i didn't post any video so sorry for that but that's it